Hey shorties, welcome back! We're here with some Final Fantasy IX. It's going to be a little bit of a different video than usual. It's actually going to be a kind of walkthrough, uh, level up uh, tutorial thing, tips and tricks on Final Fantasy. Uh, something that I even looked for when I was at the end game. Because um, I had to level up, because I was only like level 40. And I'll show you guys here. Oh no, not pause. I'll show you guys here. I am level 62. And I've already beaten the game. Um, but I was only level like 40 something when I went to go beat the game and it wasn't enough So I had to go level up all of my abilities the abilities that I went into the end of the game with were auto reflect auto haste auto life and auto regain now auto reflect is like I, In my opinion is one of the must because it becomes like Amazingly OP with something and I'll show you in a sec auto haste is a definite must because the last boss is super quick if you don't have auto haste you won't get any abilities off and he'll just pretty much one hit ko you um auto regain is definitely one of the abilities that you would like to go in with because um if you have auto potion and auto regain on the time that auto potion goes off auto regain will also get like two or three ticks off on it so that is also a really big help and then auto life is just that kind of saving grace if you do die but most of the time you won't die with auto potion and auto regain on now the OP um, item is the Reflect Times 2, which you get with the black robe. With Reflect Times 2, Vivi does two times the damage when you throw any like any magic onto Vivi when he has auto reflect on. So you can do the entire party, and they also have auto reflect on. So it's gonna bounce back and hit that um, enemy back for whatever the damage is across your entire party plus times two on whatever it hits Vivi so that's also a really nice helpful little tip and trick that you guys might want to know um, but for this video we are going to be going through the leveling process that I went through some of you guys might recognize this place it's where the Grand Dragons are and I'll show you on the map here where exactly it is so here's Gizmalakuk's Grotto and Dolly it's right there and I'll show I'll get into the invincible and show you guys and you can come here before the end of the game You can come here when you have the uh, When you have here, let me just turn my phone off here quickly when you have uh, the any Any airship for that matter um, But we'll just go Over here quickly. And I'll just show you So this is an entrance to nowhere so Bermisia, or, yeah, Bermisia. So here's Bermisia. Most of you guys will be able to find Bermisia, and you literally just go straight up here. You can also get here by going through the Gizmo Gukes Grotto. If you have Quina, a lot of people do a lot of power leveling at the beginning with Quina, because you can go get um, a ability. Um, who is it from? You can eat some, you can eat an enemy, and sorry I forget which enemy it is, but you can eat an enemy and you get level 5 death or level 5 holy. And these guys are level, I think, 250 or something. So, or level 40. They're in intervals of 5. So you can kill it one shot KO with Quina on your party. So right here, you guys, you can see that you can get into Gil's Malakuk's Grotto. I'll just enter in here, and it's where the Moogles are. Um, you find them right here. The, uh, later on in the end of the game they do have kids um, but you can save tent up um, but you can go up this vine here and get to the Grand Dragons and now we will just show you a battle of the Grand Dragon so you can't go in the forest you have to be out on the plains so here we go and like like I said, I was level 40 when I was defeating these guys, and they are pretty easy. So I think level 35, if you want to start power leveling, go right ahead and get some grand dragons. And again, I'm just gonna doomsday that up, and I'll show you guys this uh, auto reflect. So I'm using fire Ega on everyone. Hopefully, I don't kill it too quickly with this doomsday sword. So I do want to show you guys the times to reflect. And Doomsday you get by the uh, Mace of Zeus, which you get in Memoria at the end of the game. 
I'm not dead yet. So now you guys get to see this fire I got on the entire team. It does max damage. It'll do 999,000. 9,999 damage. And there you go. Killed. So I'll reflect and the reflect, reflect times two is definitely something that you guys want to get. But that is the Grand Dragon. So that's uh, good for XP. Um, you get, I think, 8,000 XP. You guys can pause the video back before I like just smash my way through that because of uh, habit. Um, but yeah, I think it's like 8,000 um, XP and then you got 10 AP on top of that. Um, and then in here, if you run around in here, you can also get something called a Garuda. Now let's see if I get at this one. There we go. That Oh, no, this is ragtime. Oh, question number four. So I got one wrong because I misclicked. The 15th Lindenblum. That is going to be a false. But if you get all of his questions right, you get a lot of XP, you get a lot of AP, and then you also get the Protect Drink. Um, and I think there's like 15 questions. Yeah, 75%. I know, because I misclicked on one. But so, Ragtime Mouse is just easy uh, gold or gill. Easy money. But. So, I'm gonna just wait until I get into a encounter of a Garuda so I can show you guys and show you what the friendly monsters look like. And I'll show you a couple other locations that you can go to for those friendly monsters. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, hey shorties. So I couldn't actually get an encounter for these uh, Garudas. So the gar I'll just let tell you where to go and I'll show you. Um, and you can get encounters and they ask you for like ore, emerald, like the gems that you get. And you just give them that until they don't need any more and the battle's over. And then they give you a crap load of AP. And that's like the best way to get ability points. And then you also get the skill ability up. So, um, right here by the Aoife tree, you can get nymphs. And they give you 30 AP if you give them 3 ore. Uh, you can get them in this little green patch, this little green patch, and then there's a brown forest right over here. And you can get them in here. And... I have gotten encounters in these areas before. I just spent 20 minutes trying to, and I just couldn't. They are random encounters, um, so make sure when you're in here, you do have the abilities that you want leveled up. It might take you a little bit, but it will work eventually, I promise you. Just keep at it. You do get XP, so you're already leveling up, and you're already in that grinding phase, so it's win-win. You never lose. Um, so that's this one, and that's right by the Aoife tree, like it, the Aoife tree is right here. Um, now the next one that I did was the, I'll take you guys to the ghosts. So this is where you can get ghosts, you give them one ore, they give you 10 AP, and a nice little high potion for the treat, but you can get them in the plains just around Trina. So that's also a good area to go, so pretty much anywhere around here. Um... And Trino, if you guys didn't see it, it's right there. So, run around there, you'll finally get a ghost. And then the next one I'll take you guys to is a ladybug. Alright, Charters, so here is the next spot. The ladybug. Also gives you 20 AP for 2 ore. Um, you can get the ladybug by just running around in the plains around Conde Petty, which is right here. If I can turn around faster. So Conde Petty is right there. Um, you can get them by running right here, or you can run down to the Black Mage Village just by going boop, 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 going down here, and going right into the forest right here around the Black Mage Village, which is right there. So you can also get a ladybug here. Um, so those are just a few of the friendly enemy encounters that you can get. Um, I will be posting a link to an entire list and what gem you need to get the AP that's needed. I'll post that in the description below, so make sure to check that out. But this was my take on tips and tricks of leveling up at the end game, because it's something that I looked for, so I thought, why not make a video about it? So that's just one 
another video that you guys can watch to find out um, how to level at the end of the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that like button down below. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and join the Shorty Nation. Alright, Shorties. Well, till next time, see you later.